Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all well. Right, welcome to a new Super Nintendo video. So, as I said in the last video, yeah, I was going to make this video because I've got an accessory and a couple of games to show you. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I've got three games coming up, two of which are already unboxed. The third one isn't. It came this morning. And I literally just opened the box up and there's some bubble wrap. So, I lifted the bubble wrap and went, oh, it's that game. So, I don't know what the condition is like yet other than the pictures on the auction. It looked really good in the auction, so we'll see when I unbox it. But yeah, it's wrapped in bubble wrap, and there's bubble wrap either side of it, and it's proper packed nicely. So yeah, we'll do that at the end of the video. Anyway, first up is the accessory, which you probably noticed in the last video, because I wasn't exactly subtle about showing it. <laughs> but it's something that I have to have whenever I have a Super Nintendo. It's just an absolute must-buy. So I'll just show you what it is. You probably know anyway, if you saw the last video. But it is... Ba -da -ba -bum -bum -bum. Super Scope. Yeah. Can't beat the Super Scope, it's great. Uh, decent nick, you know, got a bit of wear around the edges and stuff, but nothing major compared to a lot of the ones I was looking at. So, yeah, I won this on auction, got very lucky with this. And, yeah, I won the auction for 23 quid, so bonus. Yeah, proper chuffed. And it's great. I, I love the Super Scope, always have a full for it's a really cool idea. It's a bit mental that they went for a rocket launcher when everybody was doing light guns and, you know, obviously say had the Menacer, but... Who knows why Nintendo chose that? Uh, so let's just show you what it looks like. Ugh. Obviously, you know what it looks like, but the condition, I mean. So there you go. There's my Super Scope. Lovely grey condition. Got the cartridge. Uh, it's a bit dirty, but I mean, it's all right. It just needs to clean up. Uh, got the sight. Got the most important part is the sensor, because that's always yellow, no matter where you buy a scope, whether it's PAL, NTSC American, NTSC Japan, whatever. They're always yellow for some reason, so getting one isn't as difficult. So to get one for 23 quid, bonus, very tough. Uh, yeah, it works a treat, been playing it, it's brilliant. So played a couple of games, but the most important reason to home one is for is for Mole Patrol, in my opinion, the Rack and Mole game. Absolutely love Mole Patrol, and it still plays great. The sight is terrible, and I've only, you know, I haven't used a, a scope for a few years. Obviously, it's small because it's aimed for kids, so trying to put it on your shoulder now feels a bit awkward as a grown man. But the sight is awful, so I just don't even bother. You're better off literally just aiming it and just using it like a light gun, like using your eyes as to aim. Um, I find I can shoot things a lot more accurately if I just look at the TV and just use my uh, hand-eye coordination and guide the rocket launcher. Um, but yeah, great, super scope. Hey, very happy. Right, onto the games, the good stuff. So first two games, the games are already unboxed. First game is from a guy called Andrew who watching my channel, so thank you, Andrew. Really nice guy, I was messaging him on eBay back and forth a few times. Really sound bloke. So we had a bit of a chat, and uh, yeah, and thank you very much for packaging it well as well. So, cheers, Andrew. Uh, it is a great game, a classic platformer, one that I had to get, and it is Tiny Toons Buster Bust Loose. I love this game, really colourful, bright platformer, uh, fantastic game, really nice shape all the way around. This one seems to be a bastard to get in decent nick for some reason. Uh, a lot of the ones I was looking at in rubbish condition, the boxes are trashed, so I was very happy with this. I mean, my condition at the moment, I'm looking at like 7 out of 10 and higher, and you know, that varies on collector for me this is my 7 out of 10 obviously other people have a lot different ideas of what 7 out of 10 would be but yeah I'm, I'm happy with it and that's all that matters really right so we have the oh god don't drop the box usual gump precautions uh, we've got the manual so yeah really sound condition uh, got lovely screenshots inside with the characters as well I, I, I can't remember what the little road one was called I just remember that the mini version of uh, Daffy Duck was Plucky Duck in it. So yeah, it's really not. I mean, the screenshots are a little blurry, I think, but still, it's still cool to just have them in there. I mean, it's a brilliant game. Um, it was only really about a year or two ago I really got into it properly. I've, I've always played it and dabbled with it. I've never been particularly great at it. It's a bit like Mercs on the Mega Drive in that respect. But it just suddenly clicked and I understood what I was doing wrong. Uh, there you go. It was mainly because of that Tasmanian Devil boss on the first stage. Yeah, I had a right pain in the ass time trying to get work out how to kill him. And now I know how to do it. It's dead simple. So I've managed to get further. I think... I, I don't know if I got past the cowboy and wet western section. I don't think I have yet. I'm not brilliant at it by any means, but I'm definitely improving. But yeah, I, it's Tiny Toons Adventures, man. It's a great game. It's a classic. Um, and, you know, Andrew wasn't asking a lot of money for it, so I was really happy to buy it off him. And as I say, he's a really sound bloke. And he's watching my channel, so win-win. So thanks, Andrew. All right, next one is a, another platformer, and I'm buying a lot of platformers, but I just love them. 
this is a game that I always buy on the SNES. It's uh, not the greatest platform, I'll be honest. And it's part of a promotion for 7-Up, so you'll know what it is. But I've always just really enjoyed it. It's just a really chill game. So it is cool spot. Now, there is another one, uh, Spot Goes to Hollywood, which I've never played. I actually don't know if you can get that on the Super Nintendo or if that's just on the Mega Drive. I'll have to check that. I've got a feeling you can only get it on the Mega Drive. Uh, yeah, sound, great shape. Again, another one that, for some reason, a lot of them seem to be in bad shape. So I've been watching this for weeks, and then I just thought, screw it, I'm just going to buy it. Because the price was right. It's not an expensive game by any means. And the condition was sound, so I thought, well, yeah, I'll have that. So I'm really, I'm really enjoying this, this uh, PAL collecting. It's great. Uh, and, you know, I wish I'd done this from day one in 2003. I wish I'd just started from PAL. Um, I did have a dabble along the way, but, I mean, it was a very brief one. But, yeah, I mean, it's black and white, unfortunately, the manual, so it's a bit disappointing. It would have been nice to have some colour screenshots. Um, yeah, if you've never played Cool Spot, I'm sure you have. But if you haven't, it's a pretty bog-standard platformer. But it's just a, it's just a fun little game. Uh, cartridge is really nice. Nice and grey, shiny label, always a good thing. So, yeah, proper job with that one. Uh, yeah, great little platformer. So, another one for the collection. So, the collection's coming along quite nicely at the moment. Um, I did, my, I've got a list of games that I want to get, that are essentials. And I had a lot of stuff on there. That, there was games on there that, oh, all right, the more filler games, the decent things like Legends, which is an all right game, but it's expensive on PAL, so... I took it off the list. I decided what I was going to do, just pair the list right the way down to the bare bones basics of absolute essential games that I want in my collection. Get all of those. And if that takes me a year, two years, whatever it takes me, fine. Once I've got them, then I'll start looking at games like uh, Black, was it Black Hawk in the UK? And if I'm bought, like it's Black Fawn in America and Legend, as I say, and some others as well that I'm interested in playing. But because of the price, I'm not really that asked about buying them at the moment and i know the prices are going to rise they always do on all the games but yeah i'd rather get i'd rather put that money into games that i want like castlevania 4 for instance which is bloody expensive and rising all the time so i'd rather get that out of the way anyway side note <laughs> anyway cool spot yeah great game right and last game of the video guys is the one that came this morning and as i say i haven't actually looked at it yet I will just make sure I don't show my address. That would be wise. Uh, put that down there. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, we've got anything out there. We've got this. I'm not sure to show the bloke's address either. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, so that's what I got. Really nice size box. Nice. That's what you call packaging. That's how you pack a snares game. Anyway, let's crack it open. Let's have a look. So I'm going to crack it open. It's already open. First of all, Bit of ASMR for you. Uh, I love that sound. Yeah. Could do with, with uh, a binormal, so we can do some ear to ear. That'd be cool. Anyway, there's <laughs> enough pissing about. <laughs> so there's tons of the stuff. Uh, literally. Uh, uh, yeah, it's all packed up. It's, it's just loads of bubble wrap everywhere. Right, yo. Oh, that's nice. He's put a little note in there. He's put the uh, receipt in there and he's put with thanks as well. Cheers, mate. Uh, you probably ain't watching my videos, but if, if you are and this is your copy, then cheers. Right, okay. So, um, yeah, I could have probably done with a knife, actually, because he's taped it really tightly. So, we'll look. I'm in a bit of a good mood, if you hadn't noticed, by the way. I'm having a good day today. Feeling pretty positive. Although, if I can get into this, it'd be a miracle. So this is a game that is an essential purchase for most people. I only played it a few years back for the first time. Uh, I never played this back in the day. But I must admit, it's a really, really good game. And I had a lot of fun with it. I did eventually get stuck. I can't remember what stat. I got really far into the game and I got stuck. And there's this one stage I just could not work out how the hell you get out of the stage. It's weird. I just couldn't find the way out to the exit. So hopefully this time I'll figure it out. But I'm very excited to get it so i'm trying to hide it from the camera uh so we look oh yeah that's all right that's uh well to be fair that's more than all right that's uh that is very nice that's very nice indeed i'm oh, proper chuffed with that i'm glad i paid a bit extra and it went for the good one anyway the game is a third platform game <laughs> god i'm buying a lot of platforms anyway yoshi's island super mario world 2 which i've never really understood because it really isn't it's baby mario but uh look at that 
look at the quality of that. That's a beauty, that is. It's probably one of the best in my collection so far. Um, bloody fantastic condition. Look at that. The only real wear on it is the little dent there, which is bugger all. Um, which doesn't look anywhere near as bad as it did in the photograph. In the photograph, it looked worse than that. Oh, it's, fan it's absolutely fantastic. The screenshots are really good quality. They're not blurry, shite ones like they normally get. Maybe it was because it was near the end of the... I think it was near the end of the... Uh, the PlayStation... Uh, PlayStation SNES era. Yeah, 1995, so that was PlayStation 1. It was starting to come out then, wasn't it? Um, absolutely brilliant. 16 meg game. Oh, the screenshots look great. Really clear. Love this game. It's, it's so good. Obviously, the most annoying part of it is Baby Mario. When you lose Yoshi and he starts whining like a bitch. That drives me insane, that sound effect. I don't know what they were thinking. Anyway, let's have a look at the condition of everything. Let's put the box over there. Uh, it's looking good, though. Uh, precautions, standard. Oh, we got a little poster and all. What we got? Which games, wicked games, even, on the Game Boy? So we've got some Picross, some Zelda, some Tetris, Donkey Kong Land, Mario Blast, Kirby's Dream Land 2, more Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, and a soccer game. There you go. And then the best of the bunch on the snares, Uni Rally, Illusion of Time, All May All-Star, Super International Cricket. I don't really think that's the best of the snares, is it? Super Metroid, we've Samus is standing over helmet off looking weird as hell. Stunt Race FX, Kirby's Dream Course, Donkey Kong Country, where I must admit Donkey Kong does not look have the best expression on his face while he's riding that rhino. Um <laughs> Super Punch Out and Secret of Mana. There you go. I'm sorry, but just it just looks a bit rude, doesn't it? It don't look right. <laughs> Anyway, right, so post that manual. Manual's in really nice flat. Look at that, it's lovely and flat. That is beauty. That is, I love the yellow and all. By the way, the yellow box is great. It's one thing, good thing about PAL games, man. The colors and look at that. I love the Mario manuals. Mario manuals are always ridiculously detailed, you know, from the the, the drawings to the, the detail about the game and how to play it and the controls, uh, the screenshots. I mean, look, they, they're just absolutely beautiful. It really is a shame that we don't get manuals like this anymore. You know, I mean, I know we don't always read them all the time, but they're just such a beautiful piece of art to have and to to, to flick through and have a read of when you want to. They're great. Well, it's got the inlay tray and the, the cartridge. So look at the cart. Uh, pretty pristine label, actually. Yeah, I'm well happy with this. This is great. Well worth it. Um, yeah, <laughs> proper chuff now, actually. That's, I'm really glad I went for it. I was on the fence because I was thinking oh, I might just wait on it, but I know it's going to get silly money if I don't buy it now. And, you know, unlike something like Black Thorn, Black Hawk, sorry, or Legend, this is a game I really wanted. It's an essential purchase on my list, so I just thought, suck it up, Pete, and just buy it while you can. So, very happy with that one. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, that's great. I wish they wouldn't have these different inlay trays, though. Consistency would have been nice, but uniformity on the go. Anyway. Yeah, so that's that's absolutely superb, actually. Just get it back in the box. So I will definitely get a protector on that bad boy later on. Uh, it's fantastic, yeah. So I've been using the uh, My Game Vault box protectors with the little tabs as well, which are absolutely brilliant. Uh, really nice to display your games. Look at that. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful, though, isn't it? Absolute beauty. Yeah, the artwork's really cool. Really, really cool. Fantastic, I'm proper chuffed with that, that's great. So there you go guys, anyway, that is my latest Super Nintendo editions. I'm sure there'll be more to come, of course. But for the meantime, that's not a bad little haul though, isn't it? And of course, Chaos Engine as well, great game, brilliant port. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. I look forward to your comments down below. As always, you're absolutely great, all of you. Thank you very much for sticking with my channel over all the time I've been away. Thank you for watching my new videos, thank you for commenting. Thank you for all the thumbs up as well, which is really appreciated. Uh, you're all a bunch of great guys and girls and I appreciate it very much. I really do. The support is fantastic. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.